Hi. So I'm going to show you a really simple exercise that's great as a shoulder rehabber. So it's very safe to do when you have like a torn ligament or you have frozen shoulder and you can't quite, you know, get that range of motion going. This is a really good soothing exercise. Plus, it's just a great thing to do. It feels wonderful if you've been working with your shoulders a lot. Just to keep that balance because we don't want those rotator cuff muscles becoming imbalanced or that's when you're susceptible to micro tears or, you know, shoulder pain. I'm going to use the gold ball today for this, but you could also use the pearl ball for this one too. The bigger, I kind of think, is a good one to start with. And what we're going to do is be, we're going to be hanging the um, arm off the edge of the bed, but I want to show you these rotations first. So let's consider this neutral with the hand, the palm straight out, arms straight out. And then we're going to be rotating in one direction. So if we open an arm up like this this would sort of be an external rotation and then here's neutral again and then we're going to be taking the arm in this rotation which would be an internal rotation so basically we're going to be taking the joint in different motions so you so when you you could do this on your bed um and you want to put the ball right at the edge and you're going to get super long and straight like you're doing the side position exercises for the shoulder. So I'm super straight. I get that ball right on the edge of the bed or a massage table. And I want my pec in front and I want my back shoulder blade there. And remember, this is the neutral position. So we're just going to hang. I can use my hand here. I can make a little pillow with a fist, my fist. And I could at first just let this hang. I'm going to scoot up a little more. And I'm going to let this arm just hang free. So the ball is inside this armpit. And it feels really nice. Likewise, if your neck is tired, you can hold it like this. But it feels good. You could just hang out like this or like this. I like to add a little bit of extra down and into the ball. Nice and gentle. So sometimes just the weight of my head is nice. Now get some big, full breaths in here. Nice and full and exhale. And you literally don't have to do anything at this, these first few breaths. Just let it hang. Let gravity do the release. And do another big breath. And I'm going to exhale. And I'm going to inhale again. And I'm going to exhale. Okay. One thing you can also do is have your hand close to where the ball is and just give a little bit of pressure towards the ball. It's like opening the joint even more. It kind of presses that upper arm bone into the ball. Now let's go for the external rotation. So I'm rotating that shoulder out. And again, I'm going to lean a little bit more towards the back of the joint. So back towards the shoulder blade. And I can even move around a little bit in here. You don't have to stay so stuck. Find a really good spot. Let that hang. Take a couple breaths. Nice, big inhales and exhale, and another. And I'm going to give that little push around the ball with my hand. Good, I'm going to take it back to neutral. And I'm just going to check in one more time and press. This time as I go internally and rotate, I like to lift my pec up, make sure I've got that ball under my pec. I'm going to rotate the, the arm rotations like this. Get it on the ball, hang. Give a little bit of extra little weight. I'm just have my hand here so I have a nice connection to the ball. Keep your breath moving, and at some point you can just press. Big full breath. And you can also just move a little bit side to side, just like you would if you were doing the exercise, but when you have a tear or an injury or you have pain or a frozen shoulder, sometimes the arm is not comfortable stretched in with the traction and straight overhead. So this is really good to do. And it's easy and available and it doesn't take long. I just lay here and let this release. And then I'm going to come and sit up. You can probably see that I did this side, how the shoulder is nice and open. And of course, I'm going to follow and do that same routine on my left shoulder. So I hope you enjoy it. Give it a go. Um, I also want to say that if you use the smaller ball, it's going to be a little more intense. Let me just show you real quick. Get that ball in there. So 
Sometimes I really direct the ball by using my hand. Same thing applies. You can lean towards the back of the joint front. You can add the rotation, same as with the bigger ball. But I recommend either the pearl or the gold ball. Thank you for watching.